Welcome back to the Be Dynamic Podcast. I'm your host, Darnisha, and I'm so happy to be back. One thing I love about my week is the Be Dynamic Podcast. I love to come here and just have real conversations and try to get some real transformation in our lives and really try to help us all in some way create a better life. Like, I love coming here. I love talking. Thank y'all for tuning in once again. This week, we're going to be discussing potential and the importance of not wasting your potential. So what brought me here is a conversation I was having about a high school student. First of all, I feel like high school is where we start to, you really start to realize some things and things really start to stick or they don't. So I was having this conversation about a high school football player. And apparently he was, he's a great football player. He's excellent at what he does and he can even do what you do and do it excellent as well. On the field, he's a beast. He obviously has talent. He obviously has potential to go far in that world, in that space. But he also has a downfall and the downfall is his family. And it just really like hearing that, Hearing that he is great at this sport, he's great on the field, but he doesn't come to school, it like broke my heart. I'm like, wow. Because it's it's not even his fault that the potential is being wasted. It's literally his influence. And because he's in high school, he's so young, he is easily influenced. But... I realized like that is very common. It's more common than we think. And it happened to us, whether we believe it or not, in some way, our environment has influenced us to be a certain way. Either you waste the potential or you develop the potential. I really feel like the point of this, the point of Be Dynamic, the podcast, the point of dynamic fashion itself, It's to change the dynamic of others' life. And I want us all to realize that we are either walking and developing our potential or we're wasting it. And so many things come into effect. We won't be able to talk about them all, but I definitely want to touch on a couple. And that first one is your environment. Surround yourself with positive and encouraging people. If you can control it because I know for him he's in high school it's like you can't really control who you go home to at the end of the day but if you're an adult if you're a millennial you can control who you go home to at the end of the day identify your current primary environment what is it like what is it doing to you what is it doing for you how are the people around you helping you or hindering you from being the best that you can be and I'm not speaking in terms of Okay, you know how the older generation, they say, you need to go to school, you need to go to college, you need to do this, you need to do that. I'm not saying that people encouraging you to do good, you know, stay away from them. Sometimes it's just an understanding thing. Of course, my family is maybe still trying to encourage me to do something with my degree. And I'm just like, can you please? (laughs) But I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about people who are propelling you in a direction you clearly should not be going down. That kid has so much potential to change his family's life, to change his life, to change the life of his future children. He has the potential, but he cannot see it because of the environment that he is around primarily. That's not what's being encouraged. He's not being encouraged to get an education. He's not being encouraged to do the best he can, be the best he can, be the best person he can. And because he's not being encouraged to do well and to do good, good things won't follow. And that's 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 me being realistic. <clears throat> you know, I pray for the best. I hope for the best and I pray that one day dynamic fashion or anybody else who is encouraging better will touch his life so that his mindset will change. <clears throat> but when your environment is encouraging you to do wrong, wrong usually follows. And... We see that a lot. Um, I live in Memphis. I'm from Memphis. So I've just seen it a lot where your environment 
your environment directly affects you. It's people that feel like because they're from Memphis, because they live in Memphis, that they have to be a certain way, that they have to do things a certain way or that they have to be what their family was. And it's just not true. You don't have to be what your family was. You don't have to do what they did in order to get what you want out of life. There's a better way to do it. And you have the potential to do better. You have the potential to discover new things, discover new ways of being successful and getting what you want out of life. And you also have the power to choose. And when I say choose, choose your environment. Choose the people you want to keep around. Um, and like I said, I'm not talking for the high school student because I really don't feel like he has the choice. I wish he did. I wish there was some way for young kids like that to speak up and say like, hey, I, I need to get out of this environment. But they're kids at the end of the day. <clears throat> but you, as a millennial, you have the power to choose. You, We know who's good for us and who's not good for us. If you told, this is on a serious note, not you got lit one night and you said, oh, I'm done drinking forever. I'm not talking about that. But if you seriously told your friends like, hey, Drinking alcohol is bad for me. It puts me in a bad headspace. I'm going to stop drinking or help me to stop drinking. I totally forgot about the mic, so I really hope that the audio has not been too bad. <laughs> I just looked over and was like, oh, yeah, my mic. I'm just talking away. Um, But, it, yeah, if you told your friends around you, like, hey, I need to stop drinking because it's just not good for me and they don't take you serious or they act like they don't see how alcohol affects you and they continue to encourage you to drink, those are not the people you need around you. Because clearly, you see that you clearly set a boundary for yourself or you're trying to set a new expectation and they are not willing to follow it. So why keep these people in your life that are not going to help you reach your full potential of being better? especially when you actually desire it. When I think about potential, potential is showing that you have a little bit of something there. Like that could be something later. Like that could develop into something great in the future. That's what potential is. When I think about potential, I think about purpose. I think about how so many people out here are trying to chase purpose, figure out what is my purpose. Now, granted, purpose might not always be what your potential is, but it could be. Sometimes purpose could lie in your potential, but you have to be willing to open up and develop your potentials. Recognize what are you inherently good at? Like what just comes to you? What have you done for the first time? And you're like, oh, okay. I'm actually good at this. I actually have an upper hand in this subject or I have this new talent. Recognize that and that could possibly lead you to the purpose that is set on your life. Most artists have been artists since they were young. They've been drawing since they were little. They were the ones where the parents put their pictures on the fridge. You've been doing this since you were little. You had the potential all along. And now you're walking in purpose after realizing like, hey, I, I've been taking so many different routes trying to find it. And it has been right here all along. And most of the times we don't follow it, our potentials, because we feel like this isn't going to make me any money. This isn't going to make people so super proud of me. This isn't going to get me the feedback that I'm searching for. But we have to stop searching for feedback. Search for what fills us. Everybody's not going to give you the feedback you deserve or you desire. You have to be willing to give yourself that and after figuring out what potentials you have intentionally develop your potential so for me it was fashion and I do feel as though I intentionally developed that area of my life even though I was in college even though I'm going to class you know doing the college thing going out doing all of these things fashion was never not being developed I was always doing something always making something, always drawing something. And baby, when I say I was the most horrible and still am, <laughs> in my opinion, the most horrible drawer, a sketcher, whatever, when it comes to fashion, but I still developed 
it in my own way. Started doing YouTube that was focused on fashion. I started just seeing things in my head and trying my best to bring those garments to life with just me, my scissors, sewing machine. That's it. And during my time of developing this potential that I had, ever since I was young, like fashion has always been a part of my life. It's been my potential. But I didn't see the purpose in my potential until I started to develop it. After starting to develop this potential that I had, discovering like, oh, dynamic fashion. This is what my purpose is. Encouraging others to change, progress, grow through fashion. This is the purpose. But I would have never figured that purpose out had I not developed my potential. Potential can fuel purpose. Fulfilling your potential in alignment with your purpose, it often involves contributing to something larger, something larger than yourself, which is what dynamic fashion is. You may just think it's clothing. No, it's encouragement. It's empowerment. It's impactfulness. It's inspiration. That's what it is. And like I said, I would have never figured that out had I not developed the potential and had I not changed my surroundings. Had I not gotten into environments that actually fueled me, grew me as a person, I would have never, or it would have took me longer to discover my purpose. Potential wasted is purpose undiscovered. Undiscovered for two years, undiscovered for five years, undiscovered for 10, because you're wasting potential each and every day. That young man might have a purpose to be the coach of those kids one day, but once he goes home, once he leaves the field, if he ever comes to school, once he leaves school and he goes home, all of that developing of his potential that he's done can be erased. It can be erased by his environment. But once we realize these things and we realize the potential we have now as adults, it gives us a chance. It gives you a chance to develop your potential in a healthy way. It doesn't have to be hard, but just don't waste it. There's a chance that something could be there. There's a chance it could not. Literally, there's a chance it could not as well, but there's a chance it is. And focus on that chance that your purpose could lie in your potential. Check your surroundings. Actually figure out, are these people, is this place pushing me, propelling me into the right direction? In the direction that I'm supposed to go. Embrace potential to discover purpose. That is... That's my whole thing here. We all have a purpose in life, whether you know what it is right now or whether you don't. You have one. Let that truth excite you. Let that truth excite you to develop your potential. Let that truth excite you to go on a journey to figure out what is my purpose and is my purpose hidden in the potential I have. Let that excite you. It's a journey for sure, but I promise after you find purpose, that's a journey too. And it's a journey worth going on. But don't waste your potential. We've wasted so much potential. Like we've all wasted some potential. It has taken me, I started this brand 2018. Six years ago? Yeah, six years ago. <laughs> so it has taken me six years to get where I am with being so confident and knowing like, hey, I'm walking in purpose. I'm progressing with purpose. It's taken me six years, but it's taken me six years because I wasn't checking my surroundings. It's taken me six years because I wasn't focused. It's taken me six years because I was listening to everybody else telling me what I should do. It's taken me six years because I was stepping in and out, in and out of developing potential. It doesn't have to take you six years or it might take you more. That's the whole beauty of the journey. You never know how long it's going to take, but don't worry about how long it's going to take. Just worry about the things you're going to discover over that time, what you're going to discover about yourself over that time. It's all a part of the journey. So that's all, really. That's it. That's it for this episode of the Be Dynamic Podcast. If you know a child who is going through, if you know somebody who could use this encouragement, send this to them. If you can't do anything else, send this to them. Maybe them hearing this, it will change something. It will spark something in them for, for them to do something differently, for them to ask questions. But it takes a village for someone to be great. 
It literally takes a village. Uh, that student, I hope one day the dynamic fashion can touch him in, in a way that could change his life. If not, there's so many other resources out here that I pray that somebody touches him. And I know he's not the only one. He's not the only student struggling with that. There's a lot of students out here that are struggling. And we complain a, a lot about how kids are bad, kids are this, kids are that. And you have no idea what they go home to. And you have no idea how what they go home to is going to affect them in the future. And what type of human being they're going to become because of that. We just have to have grace and try to do better. Try to do better for ourselves and for them. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of the Be Dynamic Podcast. Don't forget to check out our socials and check out our website. I'll see you guys in the next one. Continue to change, progress, grow. Be that in. I hope you learn to make it on your own. And if you let yourself, just know you'll never be alone. I hope that you get everything you want.